Welcome back to another Achilles Getting Started video. In our last set of videos, we talked about the basics of getting started with Achilles. We discussed what Achilles is, setting up your CLI, creating static secrets, authentication methods, and access roles. In this next set of videos, we're going to dive into some more advanced topics, starting with the gateway. The Achilles gateway is a stateless Docker container, also available in Kubernetes, that's deployed within your network. The gateway talks with Achilles, which means that when you configure it, you won't have to make any infrastructure changes and it won't require any massive network adjustments. Moreover, the gateway holds the customer fragment, which is an important security feature. The customer fragment is your piece of your DFC encryption key that's used for all encryption and decryption. Since Achilles doesn't have access to your network where the gateway and fragment are held, we don't have access to decrypt any of your data. We'll discuss this more in an upcoming video. So here you can see the diagram of sort of where the Achilles gateway would sit between your environment and the external environment. And let's go ahead and spin up a gateway. So in the docs, you can go ahead and he see here, there's different options for, uh, for installing a gateway. So you can spin one up on Kubernetes as well. We're gonna go ahead and you can do this locally also, but we're gonna go ahead and do it on an AWS EC2 machine so that it's semi uh, similar to a real environment. So we're gonna need an authentication method, of course. Um, and in this case, we're just gonna use our admin authentication uh, for this specific demonstration. But of course, you can create other authentication methods where you can give different roles and permissions to uh, users to access the gateway to fetch secrets. Um, you're gonna need Docker Engine installed on a Linux or Windows machine. And you're gonna to have to make sure that you have network connection to the Aquilas uh, core services including these ports being open. And there's a simple command to run to install the gateway. And there's also more advanced configuration as well. You can go ahead to the docs to look at the different advanced configuration options. We're gonna use the email authentication just to uh, show how it's done with our email address being tied to that gateway uh, in order to give it uh, administration access. And you can also add gateway admins uh, based on other criteria. You can allow different access IDs to be able to give users the ability to administer the gateway as well. So let's go ahead and grab our email authentication version of the gateway docker run command. And you can also see here in gateways, you can click on the deploy now button and you'll see the different options. You have some more advanced customization uh, and of course the command here as well. And then we're going to check that gateway, the gateway is up and running using the docker logs command. So if I go ahead to my EC2 machine, go ahead and run this docker run command. And what I'm gonna do is just update the email address to match our email address. And I'll get rid of the password for now. No need for that. And the name is Achilles GW. And what it's gonna do is go ahead and spin up our Docker container, uh, the gateway. So Docker logs minus F, grab the name of the gateway here. Okay, it's gonna show us mostly quite a bit of logs here. Um, the important part for us is at the top here, starting up, network connectivity check successful. So we should be up and running. So what we're gonna do is open up our gateway endpoint with the port 8000 open. We can give it just a minute here. Perfect. So now we have our keyless gateway up and running. So what we can do is go ahead and log in. And of course, what we're gonna see here because we added the environment variable for our email address, it is showing our email address there. That's the only option to sign in is going to be with the email password combination. And we're gonna add our password. And once we're logged in, we will see what's available to us within the Aquila Gateway. And all we have to do now is actually check the console. So you'll notice here just as Aquilas and the gateway will say Aquilas Gateway. And so if we go back to the console and we just hit refresh. And we're going to go ahead and see that our gateway is up and running. So that's it for installing and configuring the gateway. And in our next video, we're gonna talk about 
creating our first targets for MySQL as well as AWS. And thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.